Hello, welcome back to DGTV. More specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Peterborough. Today is a new car day. I do apologize for the preceding footage of a train station and trains and various related imagery. I got the train up here. I've just finished work. It's a Friday night and I've just got the train up to Peterborough. It cost me 65 pounds and I can't believe it. It's a 40 minute train journey. Uh, so we're opening on a bit of robbery there. However, the exciting thing in this video is today is new car day. I've come to collect my new daily. As I've revealed on my channel before, it is a Range Rover. So that is why I'm at a Range Rover dealership. More excitingly than all of that potentially is the fact that you guys and girls, as always when I'm collecting a new car, can win your very own Range Rover there at home. With BOTB, they've got eight Range Rovers available right now in their lineup to go and get in the mix with. As you may well know by now, tickets start at just 85p, the over 150 cars to choose from. You can win anywhere in the world and you've got to be 16 or over to enter. There is a winner every single week and the link will be below. Make sure you get involved in that. And as I have threatened for quite some time now, I may well turn up on your doorstep. As I say, there are eight Range Rovers to choose from right now in the lineup. Not just the Vogue that I'm collecting it, kind of spoiled the surprise there, but there are other ones as well. So go and get in the mix with that. There are, of course, sports cars, supercars, and as you will already know as well, there are watches, gadgets, and the lifestyle competition. Not only that, with the car, you can also win up to 20,000 pounds in the boot, in cash, which is chaos. You just got to tick a box, I think, I believe, during the process. So then, without further chit chat, good luck with that, by the way, without further chit chat, Let's go and see my new car. Actually, I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something. There is a background as to why I'm stood in a car park in the dark. As I say, I've just finished work. However, this dealership is supposed to close at 7 p.m. Um, and there's, do you know what? I actually can't be, there's someone else here. I'm gonna bring him in in a second and we're gonna go and sit in the car and talk it all through. Um, but effectively, I'm having to collect my car from outside the dealership basically in a cinema car park, which I've just gone and done. I've gone and collected it there and I brought it out to the front of the dealership outside some locked gates. So the handover's already been done. I missed that. They've closed early. Um, and I just want to say at this point, Marshall's Land Rover here in Peterborough, um, they've actually been rubbish, to be honest with you. Absolutely rubbish. There's, there's loads more to it, but I can't be bothered with that now. Just want to go and get my car. I want to clarify what on earth I'm doing stood in basically an empty dealership and about to show you my car out on the street somewhere. Nice and honest for you there bit of realness. So without further ado then, let's finally get on with my new car. My 2020 Range Rover Vogue P400E. Now, I can only apologize for the lighting. As I say, these guys closed early and this is the best we're gonna get. This is the PHEV variety then, denoted by that on the back there. Many of you already have noticed that this is the base spec Vogue. It is not an SE, it is not an autobiography, it is nothing of the sort. It is literally just a Vogue. I have not ticked any options boxes whatsoever. This is what happens when you order just a basic car. So it's actually quite interesting to see the level of spec you actually get with a base car. There are very good reasons why I didn't take any boxes. There are very good reasons for these wheels, which you're probably already having a go at. We're gonna go into all of that, so do chill out. I'm gonna get in the car in a second. I'm gonna talk through how this has happened, why this has happened, why I've gone through a, a Bogo Vogue, as you would say. I'm very happy with it, by the way, but I'm just preempting what uh, some of you swines are gonna be saying in the comments. So I'm gonna jump in. The plate is gonna change as well. Uh, that is a 69 plate. For those not familiar with 69 plates uh, and the UK registration system, that denotes that it is actually a uh, brand new car. This is a brand new car. It's got 10 miles on the clock and this will be replaced with a TGE uh, related number plate. I haven't decided which one to put on there. I've got about nine of the buggers, so I'm going to stick one on there. So I'm going to get in, as I say, have a little chat. I'm going to go through exactly how this has come about. And there's also a guest that's going to appear on the channel because he actually sorted this car out for me. So we're going to get him in in a sec. Right. This is the third time I've actually filmed this chat because I've had two memory card errors right at the end of the chat. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Ross 
from Pandalis. Oh. Very nice. I can promise the original introduction was a lot more enthusiastic than that, <laughs> but we've both had enough now. Um, this is Ross. Anyway, um, so I didn't actually buy this car directly from Land Rover. This is a daily driver. I usually lease my daily drivers. I did it with my Golf GTI before, and I did it with my Mini John Cooper Works before. This is a lease. And I leased it from Pendle Lease. Ross part owns Pendle Lease. It's his family company, and he is the chap that I've been dealing with there. So he has come and handed over the car for me because they fancy going home early. Friday night. I'm hoping that makes sense. I've gone over this so many times, I don't know whether that's making sense. Do you, is that, no, that making we're, sense? We're making sense. We're, we're there sense. anyway. So. I want to cover how this car came about, how much it cost, and all the rest of it, because those are the questions I'm going to be getting right now. This car is about 90 odd thousand retail price. Yeah, correct. Yeah, coming close. And obviously, it's on a lease, so I put sort of relatively a small amount down, and I'm paying for it monthly. Now, I can safely say this cost me less than a thousand pounds a month, yes. uh, and the deposit was, I don't know, about a couple it's of minimal. grand maybe? Yeah, grand? Yeah. Thereabouts? That, that. Whatever. This wasn't a TGE deal, this was a general public deal, this was a deal released via email only, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And those that keep their ear to the ground with leases will know uh, what this deal actually was on the P400e Vogue and the P400e Sport. Now those wanting to get in the mix with this particular deal right now, very unhelpfully, that deal is actually now over. It has, they flew out. I ordered this in what, like September, October? Yeah, it's back in last year. Yeah, so tail end of summer last year. So the deal is long gone. However, I want to broach how these things come about and how you get a cheap lease deal, or how I do it anyway. Both my previous daily drivers on leases have been via a deal that I've seen crop up in mm -hmm. email. These deals have not hit websites. They've not been publicly kind of available and thrown around the place. This is for a number of reasons. Lease companies don't often make money on these silly cheap deals. There's not much margin in them. Um, so the kind of incentive for lease companies to go and put these on their site is very, very low. Uh, the other thing is they come in very low quantities as well. Very few cars hit the market. So by the time these things hit the site, they're often gone. Because they're so cheap, they move very quickly. I've seen deals come up, uh, Alfa Romeo in fact, that about 10 cars hit the market. So put that on a website, it's not going to happen. So if you think you're just going to browse a site and see a stupid deal, you're probably wrong. That's not going to happen. So the way to do it is get yourself on a mailing list with a company like Pendle Lease. And again, I want to stress, this isn't actually an ad. I've, I've paid for this car. I am yeah. a customer. Yeah, 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 a full customer. Yeah. No discounts, nothing. Just a bog standard customer. Although you don't usually come out to customer handles. Uh, no, no, I don't usually do um, it. So <laughs> <laughs> You're going to regret this one, I tell you. You're regretting it now. Three, Don't uh... expect me at every single handover. No, Ross won't turn up. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately, Ross won't turn up to your handover. You'll just be dealing with the dealer, like buying a normal car. Um, oh, hell. Have we broken it? Let's get that back on. So you might well actually recognise Ross, because Ross is on YouTube with Pendle Lease's channel, and they cover things, all things kind of uh, FAQs and how it all works, yes. and the kind of usual stuff they get asked. And Ross is actually featured... Have you been on Shmi's channel? I haven't been in it. No. Oh, okay. So Shmi's actually done some stuff with Pendle Lease before. So if you recognise the name, that may well be why. Oh, God. Three takes in. I'm losing my mind over here. It's been a long time. What have we and what haven't we covered? I feel like I need to... I want to cover the wheels. Let's cover the wheels. I'm going to change the wheels because yeah. you're already abusing me in the comments. You're still abusing me. You've seen them and you, it sets some of you off. And I know that. Um, that's what happens when you order a Range Rover with no spec. They come with kind of uh, Fisher Price wheels on them. Um, I will be changing them to Land Rover approved, uh, uh, bigger, better wheels. So you don't need to panic about that. What else have we got? Also, spec. The reason I didn't take any spec options A, I'm stingy. B, this is a daily driver. I don't want to spend too much on it. And C, on a lease, it doesn't actually make sense to over spec your cars. Um, so you end up having to pay. If I put 10 grand's worth of spec on it, you end up having to pay that over the oh, two year term. Um, so yeah. it's um, 10,000 divided by 24, whatever that is a month. It's not worth doing in my mind just to get a bit of back pack or whatever whatever some people can tick boxes all day long but that's but it bumps their monthly yeah. up uh mileage wise i think this has probably got six or eight thousand miles a year yeah i think yeah six thousand i think one of the two yeah. obviously if you elect more miles then the, the price goes up yada 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 um six eight thousand is absolutely fine in this i've got the ng gt which has got a ten thousand mile limit mm -hmm. and i also have got eight other cars so into and i don't drive any of them and i live in london so mileage isn't an issue uh what else what else what else what else any other business no, so obviously jumping on a mailing campaign, like you said, is going to be really important. That's the way to get a deal. There's, yeah, there's no two ways about it. That's the way Having said out. that, I saw the other day, and I don't know if this is still live, 8 Series and M8 is yes. now on a stupid deal. Yep, still live. They're out on our mailing campaign. Are oh, Golf R's cheap? Is there any hot hatch stuff? Because I know that. So a GTI deal is expected imminently. At the Golf GTI recording. deal is expected imminently. imminently. So actually, go and check it. If they click on your website, is there like a box that you can put? Like, yeah, you've got. Some... Yeah, the mailing list is on. So our sign website. up to that because when the last time the Golf GTI deal came out and I got one, I think it was. I'm not even going to say it because it's just. 
I think it was less than 150 it pounds a month. Dirt cheap. This was a different time, yeah. so I don't suspect it's going to be that, that cheap this time around. But sub 200 might be doable. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's expected around that mark. Mental, mental, mental. Um, so if you don't want to miss that deal, make sure you go and put your email address in. They don't spam. It'll only ever be no, good deals. No, no, no. Get that in there anyway. Um, and when the last deal came up, myself and six of my friends all got a Golf GTI at the same time. Uh, my boss got one. He admitted he didn't even want one. He was just like, it's so cheap. I'm just going to do it and I'll find a use for it. Yeah. He ended up loving it, much in the same way as I did. So go and do that anyway. Chuck your, um, check your email address below yep. and you'll be off. And obviously you can stop the emails anytime. Oh, of course you can. Yeah, you we, can we, we won't bombard you. And there won't be cars on there for everyone, but every now and then you'll find that gem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely mental what some of these cars are coming out. And there is really, really cheap stuff as well. So if you're looking for a car for your, for, as I'm going to say, your wife or your girlfriend, I'm going to get in trouble with uh, gender people. Um, <laughs> if you're looking for a car for your other half, there are, I've seen cars going around for like 80 quid a month. Well, oh, it's coming up to Valentine's Day. There we go. I mean, you got a lead time probably about 10 weeks on those things, but, so you'll miss it. But at least you can send out uh, the order form for yeah, Valentine's Day. Stick it in a card. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, Valentine's ideas, leasing covered, my Vogue covered, Ross from Pendle lease yeah, covered. Yeah, we'll go into a lot more detail over on our channel. Um, yeah. Who leasing sort of before, how it works. So we won't, won't bore them all with it here, but yeah, we'll go into a lot more detail over on our channel. Yeah, so Ross has got a channel. Um, Shmi's been on it, I believe, or maybe not. Has he been on it? I don't know, whatever. So Ross got a channel anyway, make sure you check that out. I, and there will be a full video with me talking more granular stuff. More detail than this, because I've glossed over this and done an absolute hash of it, to be honest with you. Um, this has been the most lacklustre collection video I think I've probably ever done. But this is my <laughs> new daily anyway. I'm really sorry. Oh, I the first video you've appeared it's in and I've an made a complete pleasure. Complete a tit of it. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like the new daily. I absolutely love it. I know my face probably doesn't say that, but I'm over the moon with it. And I'm just looking forward to putting loads of comfy miles in, driving around with crisps. Um, and I may well, you know, let the girlfriend get insured on it and, and let her drive it around uh, when she passes her test. She doesn't pass her test. Trust. There is a lot of trust. So I might actually just keep the wheels on it for the time being. Because <laughs> of the them London curves. She's going to turn them into squares. Um, and Chris is going to probably going to crap over the thing anyway. So, great. Any other business? I think that's it. I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe. As I say, make sure you enter with BOTB because if you win a Range Rover, that's absolute carnage and you can win it from just 85p. The link is below. Make sure you go enter and good luck. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Ciao for now. Bye now.